Hello everyone, so in this video today I want to show you how to do this loopy cowl. As always, the written pattern and other written information will be in craftytest.com. With an eye crochet hook and worsted weight yarn, I will start creating a slip stitch or a slip knot actually. And start by creating 60 foundation chains. If you need a reminder of how to do the foundation chain, I have a video where I explain it easier and slower. But if you've been crocheting for a while, you already know how to do it, so just go ahead and do 60 chain stitches. Once you're done, we're gonna make sure that our work is not twisted because we have to join in the round and start working in the round. To join, we're gonna use the slip stitch but again, as I mentioned, make sure that nothing is twisted. And on the first chain stitch, you're going to insert your hook and use a slip stitch. Make sure that you work, use your working jar yarn and not the remaining tail yarn from when you started. Before I continue, I want to make sure again that none of my stitches is twisted because I don't want to unravel and start all over again. Chain one, and we're going to do a single crochet all over this round. That will be 60 single crochet. Again, if you need a reminder, I will leave a link to a video when I explain it and I do a tutorial on the single crochet. Go all the way to the end and again we're going to use a slip stitch to close or round. It's pretty simple. And just like that we did a slip stitch. Now chain one again. Now we're going to start with our looped stitch. I also have a tutorial for this one, but let me show you just in case. We're going to do again all loop stitches all the way until the end. Just insert your hook, go your with your hook over your yarn, grab your yarn and you will create three loops instead of the normal two loops with single crochet and then you will yarn over again and go through all of them and that is our loop stitch so again 60 loop stitches all the way until the end And as you can notice, we are working with the wrong side facing us, but because it's a cowl and it won't have the edges closed, we can easily just turn it inside out. So don't worry about it, just keep doing your stitches. And just as before, once we get to the end, we're going to do a slip stitch to close. We are going to repeat this second round of loop stitches around until the end and closing with a slip stitch until we get to round number 16. Again, chain one to start and loop stitches all the way until the end until you work 16 rounds. Make sure to work your stitches a little loose don't make them too tight because crochet is not always very stretchy and because it's a cowl we want it to be soft stretchy and not rigid here you can see that that will be our right side as I mentioned before don't worry just keep working with the wrong side facing you because it's as easy as just turning it in inside out 
Okay, so once you get to the end of row number 16, close with a slip stitch, just as all the previous rounds. I'm sorry, it's not a row, it's a round. I'm gonna fasten out, off, cut or yarn. Do one last time to secure work and make sure it doesn't unravel. But before we turn it inside out, we're gonna get a needle, a yarn needle, and we're gonna weave in our ends to have a clean work and not have that little piece of yarn hanging around. Do the same with the tail on the other side when we start it. Now turn it inside out and you're done. That's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe.